Welcome hockey fans to Stone Arena. What is it? December 20th, 2023, a Wednesday night. Going to have about a 6-10 puck drop. So this is Mike Mercier along with Megan Hennigan on camera. She'll be on camera shortly. So our, our Wilmington Stoneham girls are hosting Reading tonight. So my sisters up in Vermont or whoever else is listening, give me a text. Make sure the sound is coming through good and loud. So Maddie Sonato is going to lead the charge out on the rink here. So Stoneham Wilmington coming off a tough loss against a high quality team at the uh, Woburn um, O'Brien rink again, the Winchester Red and Black. Last Saturday, uh, they won, th uh, Winchester won three to one. Um, let's see the stats here. <laughs> Paige Fuller scored on it uh, with a beautiful assist from Vivian Savoy and also from the, the in the defense pushing in Pinching in from the point was Emma Ebert. That really set up the whole play. Emma Ebert pinched in from the left point, facing the goal anyways. Pinched in. Vivian Savoy was able to pick it up, throw it towards the net, and there an opportunistic Paige Fuller popped it in for her second goal of the season. So some of the goal scorers so far are Wilmington Stoneham have tallied eight goals. Let's see, eight goals on the season. Paige Fuller, two Lily McKenzie, four, and Ashley Mercier, two so far. So we're looking at six o'clock right now. Girls are about ready to take the ice. Maddie Sonato leads the charge. Thank you, Matt McMakin, my remote guy. Just said, sounds good, so we're good, all set. Thank you very much. I'll just check in this, and we're good to go. So we're just going to list through, get everybody listed here. Wilmington Stoneham. First, we'll go through the coaches. The head coaches, Cassandra Connolly, along with John Lapiana. Assistant coaches, Joe Higgins and Haley Gorman for our Stoneham Wilmington team. In fact, Joe and John Lapiana and Joe Higgins, I've had them for seven. Well, I haven't been coached, but they've coached Ashley along with their older sister, Amanda, for the last seven years. So... Stone and Wilmington, they carry seven seniors. Number, number four, Ashley Mercier. 10, Emma Flynn. 14, Marissa Thorne. 15, Lily McKenzie. 19, Grace Tobias. 22, Paige Fuller. Number 30, Maddie Sonato. And the junior is very small. Number 24, Isabel Shirtcliffe. She'll have an awesome senior night. It'll be all her next year. I believe we're missing, yep, I'm missing, there is eight, not seven sophomores. Number 18, again, is left off Patricia Hemp. Apologize, let's see if she's on this other roster. We get her here. So eight sophomores, not seven. We have number five, Vivian Savoy. Number six, Cara Di Giovanni. Seven, Zoe Newburn. Number eight, Lucy Romanowski. 11, Olivia Dechara. 17, Rose Bonner, 18, Patricia Hemp, and number 21, Grace Newburn. And new to the squad, nine freshmen. Well, some of the sophomores are new as well, but brand new nine freshmen. Number one, Sarah Pacheco. Number nine, Ali Mahoney. 12, Aubrey Salvador. Her mom uh, did the volunteer the, uh, a couple games ago. Tara Salvador, much appreciated it. Tina Thorne, along with her older sister, thanks to Chris Thorne a couple games ago. The last home game, uh, volunteered, did the whole game. Number 16, Carrie Hennigan, and her mom, Megan Hennigan. Let's write that down, give her credit. Megan Hennigan, and again, there's, it's Hennigan, not with a K. They gave me a K again. Number 20, Emma Ebert, continuing the freshman here. Number 23, Izzy Newinger. 25, Olivia Raposa, and number 26, Dana Chalimi. So I'm just gonna poke it down here. Let's get some warm ups in here. So they've done their initial, they only do about, they used to have a seven minute warm up. Now the MIA, or all rinks, just cut all warm ups are pretty much down to five minutes now. So it goes rather quick. They do a little break in, break out drill here. 
Ashley Mercier picks it up over to, who was that? Olivia along with Lily back into Grace Tobias. Who else out there? Emma Ebert. So they go through this drill. Each line gets probably one shift, and they line it up and just do some long shots so Maddie can get her timing down from shots from the point. So right now the MIAA is going to run over the loudspeaking, um, the, the code of conduct for all the fans here and the announcer. So we'll just we'll blab a little bit more, and then we'll have the national anthem. We only got a minute and a half left. Here, let's see. Make sure we're recording on the cards. Again, thanks to Matt McMakin, who makes this all possible. We're volunteering here, Megan Hennigan. Hennigan, right? Hennigan. How, how do we pronounce it? Hennigan. 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 All right, I hope you guys heard that out there. I'm going to go with Megan on camera. Is this the right spelling? Is this the right spelling here? Hennigan? All right. New. Is, and your name is spelled with, is there an H in there or no? Because at, when they rebroadcast this, they put, they give you credit. So Megan, regular. So I'm going to apologize for spell, uh, pronouncing the last name wrong. Hennigan. Just going to write it down here on the paper. Hennigan. Something like that, but that's the fourth volunteer. So we also want to thank Dave Sonato, along with Tara Salvador, Chris Thorne, and Megan Hennigan. And this is Mike Mercy on play-by-play. -play. 18 seconds left in the warm-up. They're going to go over. Then I'm not sure. Maybe they already did. I'm not sure they already did lineups. If not, we'll we'll break for that. But the national anthem should be coming up any second now. So I do not have a roster for. Uh, um, Reading, our friends from Reading, they carry one goalie. I don't see, I see one goalie. So maybe after the first period, I can flag down a Reading parent and at least give credit. It's always nice to get the goalie involved here. Yes, Chris, see, that was Megan Regular, not with the H. So. Reading is lined up in the line. It looks like Sloan Wilmington down near their net. We'll see if we're going to break in a national anthem. So after tonight, uh, Stoneham and Wilmington are going to travel to Reading next Thursday at 6.45 puck drop, and then return back to Stoneham Arena on the 30th of December against usually a tough Bishop Fenwick. Should be a, a fun game Saturday night at 6 o'clock. So we're going to have the national anthem. We'll be right back.
All right. All right, welcome back to Stoneham Arena. Wilmington Stoneham about ready to get the puck dropped with our friends from Redding, the Redding Rockets. I think that is still the Rockets. Referees are ready, pucks are picked up. National Anthem, hopefully, hopefully we could hear that out in TV land. So again, I think we got interrupted quickly, but um, one more time through, I think I got it once, but there's, want to make sure we get thanks to, the, we've had four camera, we've televised our fourth game of the season. Um, well, we had a scrimmage and now um, one away game, but Dave Sonato, Tara Salvador, Chris Thorne, along with Megan Hennigan, tonight, along with Mike Mercer, play-by-play. -play. So we got Grace Tobias centering Lily McKenzie, along with Olivia Raposa, uh, Emma Ebert, along with Ashley Mercer, and any net anchoring Stoneham Wilmington, Maddie Sonato. So about ready to get the puck drop here at 6.09. Puck drops at 6.09, and the puck goes into the Reading. Again, no names for the Reading Rockets, but Lily McKinsey right there. Olivia tries to get at the net. Ashley Mercier, nice play to make a shoot from far out. Lily McKenzie on the nice back check. Trying to get it up to Olivia. Olivia is going to pick it up along the boards. Trying to dump it in. Picked up by the Reading Rocket defense. Oh, nice outlet pass. Dumped in. They're looking for a quick line change just 30 seconds into the game. Ashley Mercier picking it up. Off over to Lily McKenzie. Trying to hit. Oh, almost connects with Olivia. Uh oh, going to crash the net. And Matty Sonato, we're going to shut that down. 14.05, 55 seconds into the game. Marissa Thorne out. Center, let's see, centered with Dana Chalimi. Centering Marissa Thorne along with 22. Redding shoots it in for a long shot. Nice block by Paige Fuller. Not, not Paige, that was um, Danny Chalimi. Marissa Thorne trying to chase that puck down. Good hustle. Is a Bell Shercliffe out with Lucy Romanowski. Marissa picks it back up. Broken up by our Reading Rockets. Isabel Shercliffe, nice outlet pass. Up to Danny. Marissa Thorne going to pick it up along the boards. Dumps it in. Nice play. Nice hustle here. Danny going to shoot it right in front of the net. Sent right back. Marissa Thorne trying to get it over to Paige Fuller. Oh, good outlet pass. Lucy Romanowski going to pick that up. Good four check in by Redding. Outlet pass, nice break up. Nice, nice play to dump that in, get a full. Five-person line change. Nice dump in. We got Vivian Savoy out there with Lily McKenzie along with Olivia Raposa. And we got an offsides right in front of us. Emma Ebert back out with Ashley Mercier on defense. Again, Maddie Sonato, the anchor in net. So far this season, three games. Let's see. Eight. Eight goals for, let's see, Ashley Mercier taking it into the corner, taking it around, sends it right across. Vivian had peeled off from the goalie a little bit. Emma Ebert, who does an excellent job pinching in. And again, nice job by Emma Ebert. That's what led to the opening goal the other night. We actually took the lead on Winchester to open the game. And again, nice play by Emma. Oh, nice battle. Lily McKenzie going to pick that up. Working hard to get it in. Redding comes out of the zone. Just under 12 minutes left in the first period. Three plus minutes played. Marissa throwing with a four check. That's going to dump into the right, our right. Maddie Sonato's left. Lucy Romanowski, nice outlet pass up to Mercer. Just gets off her stick. 
Reading number 14. Try to take the net, but Lucy's going to send it, intercept it in the middle of the net. Nice battling in there. Outlet pass over here. Really wish we had some names. It sounds much better when we have real names. Paige Fuller trying to pick it up, but Redding is right on top. Back into the corner here. Lucy Romanowski going to battle in there. Redding picks it up. And they shoot, they score. A little bit of pressure right there. The Redding Rockets. Tally. Redding. Maddie Sonato made the initial save, but unfortunately the rebound luckily popped right out to the Redding Rockets at 10.54. So Redding goes up 1-0. So now we got Grace Tobias back centering Lily, uh, Lily McKenzie along with Olivia Raposa. Emma Ebert along with Ashley Mercier back on defense. Lily McKenzie picks it up behind the net. Grace Tobias, nice job right there. Oh, nice. Olivia Raposa. Oh, nice job keeping it in. Able to dump it in deep. Grace Tobias trying to get it out to Olivia. Puck scoots behind the net. Olivia Raposa, nice job closing in on Redding. We missed the numbers, but we don't have a roster, so I'd like to give them credit, but we can't. But Redding coming up the far side, right in the middle, Maddie Sonato. Puck goes, I don't know if it was off her glove, but good long range shot, give him a good vision. Grace Tobias going to pick this up, sends it all the way around. Going to scoot. Ashley Mercier chips it up to Olivia just in front of her. Nope, oh, gets stuck down with Olivia on the ground. Nice play by Grace Tobias to back up. Uh oh, a long range shot. Nice block in front off a of body somewhere. Lily McKenzie looking for an outlet pass. And that's going to be, that's through the crease, but still going to call it an icing. Face off at 919, back to the left of Maddie Sonato, our right. Vivian Savoy is going to center Marissa Thorne along with, nope, to the right of Maddie Sonato. Paige Fuller, number 22. Isabel Shirkov, Lucy Romanossi sends around here to the New Year boards. Isabel chips it up, a little too far for Vivian, but Vivian's chasing it down with her speed. Over here to uh, just scoots by. That's gonna be no icing, it went off of Wilmington. Isabel Shirtcliffe's gonna pick it up. It's gonna be a little hard off the boards there. Nice chase down by Marissa Thorne. Vivian Savoy over to Paige Fuller, comes back over here to Isabel Shirtcliffe, are the only junior on the squad. Paige Fuller able to dump it in here with 8.30 remaining in the first period. Reading one, Wilmington Stoneham nothing right now. And Reading Rocket and Paige Fuller is going to be escorted to the boards gently, so no call. Going to come back with Grace Tobias centering Lily McKenzie along with Olivia Raposa. Emma and Ashley back on defense. Oh, nice play. Emma didn't have much time. Lily McKenzie circling in, gives herself some room. She shoots. Oh, rebound right there. Oh, somehow it got stuck, stopped on a body. Not, it wasn't a goalie, it was a defenseman or somebody in there. Emma Ebert playing strong on the blue line. Ashley Mercier trying to pick it up. Nice move. See if she get a shot off here. Gonna take it around the net, looking for somebody in front. No, she's still circling. Right there, rebound. 
Emma Ebert, another nice play. Oh, nice chip, so it's slow, but Emma Ebert hustling back. Nice play by Emma Ebert to pick that up. Up to Lily McKenzie. A nice line change, Isabel Shercliffe back out with Lucy, yes. Oh, good speed coming up the middle here. Oh, nice save by Maddie Sonato, steers it to her left. So good pace to the game. Up to Marissa Thorne, just scoots off her stick. Oh, nice save, Maddie Sonato. In close range shot, 6.54 remaining in the first period. So we got Danny on the face off with centering Marissa along with no, no icing. Along with Paige Fuller, number 22. Senior Paige Fuller. Again, there we have seven seniors on the squad. Good hustle by Isabel Shercliffe. Good speed to, and it's icing. Six thirty-four remaining in the first period. Puck drop to the left of the Reading Rocket goalie. Reading picks it up. Going to try to break out of there. Nice. Nope, they cleared the zone. Redding sends it up. Uh-oh, Redding. But good back check-in by Olivia. Nice play by, I think it was Isabel to let it go by so she didn't tip it into her own net. Lily McKenzie. Let's see if she can get a nice shot off here. Lily, she shoots, she scores! Lily McKenzie, not sure if that was unassisted. Tally's her fifth goal of the season. At five, Wilmington. 15, we'll see at 544 mark of the first period. So Zoe Newborn on left wing along with Ashley Mercy takes it up the middle. Ashley Mercy is going to take, she shoots, it gets blocked. Paige Fuller doing a nice job on covering her up at the point. Emma Flynn, Ashley Mercy gets back, nice, gets it back there. Unassisted, we're going to give it unassisted. We can check the tape later and see if we can give credit, but look unassisted by Naked Eye. Oh, right there, Zoe Newborn just, just not able to get to it. All the way to the corner, oh. Nice play by Emma Flynn to keep the Reading Rocket busy. So he tried to send it up to, um, puck goes in behind, Emma Flynn's gonna pick it up un under five minutes remaining in the first period. Zoe Newberg's gonna pick that up, hops off her stick, but she's able to get it out of the zone. Vivian Savoy on the four check, able to curl back. Emma Flynn on the nice poke check, gonna get it all the way down in. Zoe, oh, nice pass right there, oh! Zoe Newbern, she was in a perfect position right there, just hopped off her stick, but great positioning right there. Isabel Shercliffe, nice job to get that down. Good battling by Shercliffe, keep that in. And that's going to be called offsides. So we got Grace Tobias back out, centering Lily McKenzie and Olivia Raposa. Game all knotted up on that goal by unassisted by Lily McKenzie. Great rush, great move. Hit the top corner. 
And from the first few, you know, first 12 minutes of the game, Reading has a solid goalie as we, we, we. Oh, Matty Sonato, nice save. Face-off's gonna be to, let's see where they're gonna go, to the left of Matty Sonato. 3.49 remaining in the first period. Grace Tobias on the face-off. Pucks it up here to Lily McKenzie. A little self-pack, just a little farther than she wanted to, all the way down to the netminder. Right there, she scores! They're gonna count that. Lily McKenzie, I believe. Lily McKenzie. We'll see who they give it assists. At 339. 339th, not 399. So Wilmington Stoneham takes the lead. We'll try to hear the, hear the assist. They did come out of nowhere. Thought the goalie was going to cover up, but I think Lily got her stick in there just in time to poke it right through the five hole. So Grace Tobias centering Olivia Raposa and Lily McKenzie. Try to hear, hear the assist on that. And I think the Reading Rocket wants an explanation of, but if the referee could see the puck, they're not going to blow the whistle. So point taken, but uh, scores two to one. Wilmington Stoneham. And they're going to call offsides. So Danny Chalemi comes out with Paige Fuller along with Marissa Thorne. Puck goes in. We still haven't heard the announcement yet. We'll try to get it. Isabel Shercliffe. That goes all the way down. No icing on that. Lucy Romanowski sends it back around. Marissa Thorne trying to... Unassisted goal for now. So Lily McKenzie on two unassisted goals. Redding gets it right through. Maddie Sonato steers it to her right, our left. Redding going to take it out of the corner. Redding stays right there. I hear Coach John saying, stay on it, stay on it. Oh, nice save. Paige Fuller unable to get it all the way down. Oh, Lucy wants to get that. Let's see where we can get it. 228 remaining in the first period. Stoneham Wilmington up two to one. Two unassisted goals by Lily McKenzie. Ashley Mercier under pressure, gets pinched off, but good, good teamwork over there with Marissa Thorne. And Lily McKenzie again is going to pick this up. She's going to go right up the middle. She's going in. Let's see. Lily McKenzie shoots. Oh, just gets off her stick, but great rush. But she had no. Ashley Mercier able to keep that in. Olivia Raposa, nice play by keeping it in along with Vivian Savoy and Lily McKenzie out there. We got Emma Ebert with Ashley Mercer on defense. 145 remaining in the first period. So Redding scored the first one at the 1054. Then Lily McKenzie took it upon herself. Icing gonna be all the way down. One thirty-two remaining in the first period. Face off to the right of Reading, our left, Reading Rocket goalie. Lily McKenzie picking it up in the corner. Good back check in by Vivian Savoy. Nice ball, nice job. Emma Ebert out there. Emma Ebert. Uh, number five, Vivian Savoy is going to take a trip to the box. 
believe they called her a hook at the 116. So Stoneham and Wilmington, they got to do a little penalty kill here. They got centered, let's see, Grace Tobias along with Lily McKenzie, Isabel Shercliffe along with Ashley Mercier. Oh, nice play. Lily able to send it all the way down. Nice face off by Grace Tobias. Lily able to send it all the way down. A oh, nice ball, nice, nice four check by Grace Tobias. And Lily McKenzie able to send it all the way back. Jake, great job to kill the first 20 seconds all in the Reading zone. Another job by Grace Tobias. So Reading going to gain the blue line. Lily McKenzie on the bothering. And Lily, uh, Lily, Maddie Sonato shuts the door. 44 seconds remaining in the first period, 128. So the, the penalty on Vivian Savoy, a little hook. Just got a little bit too much, but I thought it was a good back check, but. So we got Danny Chalimi out here on a face off along with Paige Fuller, Ashley Mercier in the corner. Uh-oh, off the side of the net, Ashley Mercier. Trying to get it out, but puck comes over here to Isabel Shirtcliff. Isabel, nice job getting all the way down. That's going to bounce over stick. Nice hustle by Danny Chilmey. Nice four check. Not even four check. Nice bothering. Danny Chilmey all the way down. Good back check in by Paige Fuller. Ready, picks it up. Oh, nice intercept by Danny Chilmey. And that's the end of the first period. So nice kill. Going to leave 44 seconds remaining on the penalty to start the second half. But um, all the players that Coach John, Coach Cassandra, and the rest of the coaches won out there, everyone will be fresh. So this is Mike Mercier, play-by-play, -play, along with Megan Hennigan. We will be right back in a few minutes. The video will stay up, but I'm going to kill the Welcome back, hockey fans, to WCTV's presentation of Wilmington Stoneham Varsity Girls Hockey. With one period played, Stoneham Wilmington up two to one over our friends from Reading. Reading opened the score at the 10:54. Just just over four minutes played, Reading opened up the scoring, and then Lily McKenzie took upon herself to scoring two unassisted goals at 5:44, and then about a minute. Just over two minutes later at 3.39, popped another one again. But we start the second period, a player down, Vivian Savoy, got called for a hook at the 116 mark of the first period. So there's 44 seconds remaining on that to kill. So again, Stoneham, Wilmington in their home whites. And our friends from Reading in their red and black away jerseys. In fact, in eight days, we travel all the way to Reading, which is about seven miles, to their home rink, the Burbank, for next Thursday night, December 28th, for a 6.45 about puck drop, I believe. And then we'll be back here on December 30th against a tough Bishop Fenwick squad. So Reading opening up. Opening up the second period on the power play. So Maddie Sonato going to anchor the net. North uh, Red, Redding is trying to uh, come up with a little motivation here. So big kill here, 44 seconds remaining. Isabel Shercliffe, Ashley Mercier. Um, Grace Tobias centering Lily McKenzie. So second period underway here. Redding wins it. Oh, nice, nice break right from the start. 
if Isabel Shercliffe pushing the corner. Nice job. Is trying to get it out. Pops up. Able to keep it in. Oh, nice job by Lily McKenzie. Able to center it uh, up to the center ice. 20 seconds remaining in the penalty kill. Lily able to apply a little bit of pressure just to slow her down. No icing. Isabel Shercliffe tries to fire it up. Lily McKenzie in there battling, but Redding able to pick it up. Uh-oh. Oh, they shoot, they score. Right as the penalty expired. Able to pick it up. We could not get it out at the point, and the girl was able to walk in and pick a corner on Maddie Sonato. So Redding, basically we hadn't got our player back yet, so on the power play, Redding, second period. 14-15, yes. Redding, so two to one. Goes up to two to two. So we got here Emma Ebert out with Ashley Mercier. Marissa Thorne along with Danny Chalemi along with Paige Fuller. Good back checking. Emma Ebert's gonna pick that up. Emma Ebert trying to get that up to Paige Fuller. So yes, it was, not sure they can. Puck, no icing, it's gonna be off a stick. All the way down to the Redding. And the Redding was holding Paige's stick. So 13-23, Redding ties it up right at the end of the power play. Well, a little battle at the blue line, just couldn't get it out of the zone, and the Redding was able to pick it up and walk in. So next, next goal, big goal. Lily McKenzie in the corner. Nice back to Vivian Savoy, Lily McKenzie. Just either goalie made a nice save or just hit the outside of the net. Nice play, Isabel Shercliffe fires it in. Lucy Romanowski battling here on the knee board, new near, near boards, near boards. Yeah. Wilmington clears it, Olivia Raposa along with Vivian Savoy out with Lily McKenzie. Oh, right there, Lily, shores! Lily McKenzie, unassisted, picks up the errant pass. That is not where you want to pass it unless you're a Stoneham Wilmington fan. So we'll take that errant pass any day. Unassisted goal by Lily McKenzie at the 12.38 mark. So that, that, that poor girl's gonna see that pass in her dreams all night tonight, but we'll take it. Lily McKenzie perfectly on the four check, intercepted and roofed it. So quickly, three to two. And Maddie Sonato is going to smother that. Emma Ebert got just enough of her to push her wide, and the, 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 the shot was from about 30 feet. So Maddie Sonato is going to stop those every day. So Lily McKenzie on her, and she gets a hat trick. Puck's coming over here to Paige Fuller. Puck's going to get poked out. Vivian Savoy is going to get an assist. We'll give it to her. Oh, nice cross ice pass. But the, luckily the wing was going in for a line change. So Puck's going to scoot up to Paige Fuller. Paige is going to drop it back. Marissa Thorne hustling over the near the far boards. Lily, uh, no, Paige Fuller is going to pick that up. That's going to be no icing. 11.38 remaining in the second period. Stoneham Wilmington up oh, on a hat trick by Lily McKenzie and great teamwork by the rest of the squad to make that possible. 
Oh, nice play by Danny there. Redding's going to pick that up. And then Ashley Mercy battling in there. Going to wrap it around. Uh-oh. To the point. Oh, don't overskate it there. We just overskate a little bit. Emma Flynn. Emma Flynn. Emma Ebert. Oh, nice. Ashley Mercy chips it up. Emma Ebert over here. So a lot of little scrappy play right now. That's going to be an ice. They needed that right there. They need a line change. Second periods are tough. You get caught in your own zone. You're, uh, you're stuck there for a while. So good play. Get the ice. Get a line change. Needed that bad. Puck comes down to the left of Matty Sonato. Again, Mike Mercier play-by-play. -play. Megan Hennigan on camera. For the fourth volunteer along with Dave Sonato, Tara Salvador, and Chris Thorne. William McKenzie again coming up to the net. She's going to shoot. Oh, nice glove save. And we got Patricia Hemp out there with Lily McKenzie along with Grace Tobias. So Patricia Hemp, number 18, Grace Tobias centering her and Lily McKenzie. Lucy Romanowski along with Isabel Shirtcliffe on defense. McKenzie passes it right there. That, oh, just off the stick of, was it Grace? Yeah. Lucy sends it into the net. Oh, we're going to have a trip. That looked like, uh, but it's a trip nonetheless. So they dump it in. So we're going to be able to at least touch it. But the uh, faceoff is going to be down in our own zone. So who's going to go off? It looks like Grace Tobias on the trip at the 10.04 mark. So I'll put Stoneham and Wilmington on the penalty kill once again. Three to two. Three goals by Lily McKenzie. Ashley Mercier able to get it out. So we got Lily and Vivian up front. We got Isabel and Ashley on defense. So another uh, second one of the game. Ashley Mercier not able to get it out. Nice play, Vivian Savoy. Nope, not able to get it out. Isabel Shercliffe. Nice play, Isabel Shercliffe sends it all the way down. Lily McKenzie on the soft four check, very smart. Don't want to get caught in too deep. And now she goes in deep. Vivian Savoy. Oh, nice play for Vivian to slow up the attack. Allows Lily McKenzie to get back. Nice back check by Vivian Savoy. Uh-oh. Pucks in there. Oh, no. Nice save by Maddie Sonato. Isabel Shercliffe in there battling. So Redding all over us. We got 30 more, 35 seconds. Oh, pucks the other way, Maddie. <laughs> it's easy to see up here. So Redding, our penalty killers are gassed right now, but they're trapped. Second period. So 14 seconds remaining in the. Redding picks it up here. So just two seconds, somebody got to get on. Penalty kill, a gas, Maddie Sonato, oh, able to steer it far enough wide. So another successful penalty kill. Vivian Savoy able to pick that up. We definitely want to get it out. Lily McKenzie. They're looking for a line change here. 7.30 remaining in the second period. Halfway through.
Paige Fuller down here along with Danny Chalemi. Uh-oh. Good head of steam here, taking it wide. Actually able to push her all the way out. Nice play. A nice back check by Danny Chalemi trying to get it up. Ashley Mercier going to chip it up and out. Nice play. Emma Ebert, nice outlet pass over to here to Paige Fuller. Oh, just a, kind of a too hard of a bounce. No ice. I'm not sure why that's not an ice. When the, the defender gives a good effort to get the puck, but you got to play on, play the whistle. Oh, another errant pass, Paige Fuller. See if she gets a shot off. Oh, just gets off her stick, goes to the corner. 6.35 remaining in the second period. Emma, Emma Ebert, nice play there to slow up the attack on that nice, it was a nice cross ice pass. Again, another outlet pass here. Emma Ebert's gonna pick it up. Trying to whip it around here to Paige Fuller. Paige Fuller looking, no, not what we wanted right there, but. Ashley Mercy gonna pick that up at the, she sends that over to Zoe. And need, definitely need a line change and gonna go all the way down, 546 remaining in the second period. So three, three goals by Lily McKenzie, two successful penalty kills. And no, oh no, actually technically not, they scored. I guess it was up, but we hadn't got our player back. It was like one second after. So it really was a power play goal. And he picks it up here, throws it at Maddie Sonato. Nice, nice job steering it to the corner. Lucy Romanowski sends it up to Olivia Raposa, trying to chip it up. Grace Tobias, nice back checking by Grace. He's going to send it over to Lily McKenzie, Isabel Shercliffe, Redding. Oh, not another one. Oh, nice save. Looks like another trip by, I don't know, that was, looks like Grace is going to visit the box again, but that was just unfortunate. 5'11". So another, another power, uh, penalty to kill here. You got Emma and Ashley on defense and Vivian centering Lily McKenzie. Redding, was she able to walk it in? Oh, nice save. And I think the puck is covered up by nice save. Nice cover by Maddie Sonato. It was in there somewhere. Pucks to our left, Maddie Sonato's right. Vivian Savoy centering Lil, uh, Lily McKenzie. Emma Ebert, number 20, Ashley Mercier, four on the penalty. Just 10 seconds into it. Oh, try to get it out. Not got to get those out. But man down, player down, nice save. Uh, able to get it out, though. Redding did a nice job to keep it from going all the way down, though. Emma Ebert, hopefully she slaps that one. Able to get it up to the neutral zone. Redding pick it up, number 10. Nice disrupt by Lily McKenzie. Over here to far point, Matty Sonato, way wide. We'll take that. Stunham Wilming into the box. Vivian Savoy going to attack. Oh, nice save by Maddie Sonato. So we got Danny Chalimi along with Paige Fuller and Isabel Shercliffe, Ashley Mercier on defense. One more minute, halfway through this penalty kill. So 
So a Wilmington Stoneham. A nice tip by Danny Chalimi. Good speed. A nice hustle by Danny to keep from coming out clean, but uh, this girl's got some speed coming out. Able to send her far wide, trying to set it up. But back here. Sends it into the corner. Sends it back to the center of the ice. Paige Fuller trying to get a box. They, I know these call they don't want him to chase too much, especially out there. Then if they if you lose them. Ashley Mercer able to send that all the way down with 10 seconds remaining. So countdown. So gonna get your player back rather soon here. Nice play. Let's keep it. Oh, make me nervous. And they're gonna call an offsides there. With 3.05 in the second period. So successful penalty kill. It's kind of tough. It was in our zone most of the time, but um, Maddie Sonato, every chance she got, she, she covered the puck. So Lucy Ramoska off here, the near boards. Lily McKenzie battling here along with our Reading Rockets. Livy Raposa hustling over. That's gonna be, that should be an icing all the way down. Faceoff's gonna come back with 2.45 remaining in the second period. You got Olivia Raposa out there with Vivian Savoy along with, where's my other player? Lily McKenzie, Shercliff, and Lucy Romanowski on defense. Cross ice pass, Lucy shoots it at the net. Redding able to steer it to the corner. Nice job by Olivia. Four check in there, nice job. And that should be another ice. Nice hustle by Isabel to hustle down there, but still icing. So with 2.28 remaining in the second period, we're gonna change the back line and Vivian's gonna stay, no, who's centering? Vivian's gonna center Olivia and Lily. 228, Stoneham Wilmington up three to two on the hat trick by Lily McKenzie. Nice shot right there tonight, Lily McKenzie. Oh, right there. She oh. oh. Nice job by Emma Ebert to push it wide. As she had pinched and got caught, but Emma Ebert, nice job. So with 207 remaining. Oh, nice battle. Olivia Raposa here, Vivian Savoy in the corner, picks it up. Uh-oh, right in front of the net. Oh! <laughs> Good stick check, so avoids the hook there, though. Lily McKenzie, Lily McKenzie on the breakaway, moving into the goalie, she shoots. Oh, nice save. Got to give the goalie credit on that. Having Lily McKenzie, leading goal scorer coming at you, makes a nice glove save. And Reading decide they were, they, were, they were due for a line change. Ashley Mercier just misconnects with Olivia Raposa up here. But we got a fresh Danny Chalimi out there. You can tell by the speed. A oh, nice back check by Olivia and Danny. Lily McKenzie. Emma Ebert sends it to the corner. Here we got one minute remaining in this second period. Emma Ebert chips it up. That's able to go to the neutral zone. Again, second period, you get stuck in your zone. It's a tough line change right now where you're, uh, we need a line change probably, but you got to deal with it. Redding able to keep that in. A nice little back pass. Uh-oh. Sends that wide everywhere, but Paige Fuller, hopefully she just sends it. So sends it up to middle ice. Again, nice transition game from our friends from Reading. Yeah. 
Paige Fuller, let's see, we gotta get this out. You got eight seconds left. Ashley Mercier. Two seconds right there. Oh! Good effort. Ashley saw the clock, so good effort to get in there. And just almost, Danny Chalimi almost had a shot right at the very end. So at the end of the second period, very exciting second period with two penalties. Well, not that exciting for those penalties, but Grace got sent off twice for tripping. But uh, successful kills on that. And Redding scored at 14-15 to tie it up as the first of the three penalties expired. Then Lily McKenzie on her third goal, assisted by Vivian Savoy, uh, gave Stone and Wilmington the lead back to three to two. So we'll be right back in a few minutes. Welcome back to Stoneham Arena for WCTV's presentation of Wilmington Stoneham Varsity Girls Hockey here on December 20th. Had a 6.09 puck drop. Just finished the second period 10, 15 minutes ago. Ice has been done. Fresh sheet of ice. Redding is ready to come out. Our Lily McKenzie gonna lead him out of the locker room right now. So very exciting game so far. Wilmington Stoneham up three game, three goals to two on a hat trick by Lily McKenzie. Third one, uh, first two unassisted. Third one assisted by Vivian Savoy. Good four check in, able to poke the puck out to uh, Lily to our right, and Lily with a great shot up and over the girl's left shoulder, our right side. Look great shot from here. <laughs> So my sisters, okay, they're funny, they're funny. It was definitely in hockey or soccer, you put it through the wickets or the five hole. When you score between the legs, five hole, and we'll leave it at that. So let's go with that. So Lily McKenzie um, getting up there with points in her career. Um, she's, since I've kept track, I believe we just uh, had a little conversation with another Wilmington um, person. We won't name any names, but um, Lily McKenzie is upper 80s right now. Probably by far the most, I mean, I've been watching this for, well, seven years. Ashley and her older sister, we've been involved seven years directly. And when I coached the U-12s way back, we started going to some games and um, maybe somebody with 50 points, maybe 50, 60 total points. But Lily, um, you know, with sophomore and junior year, 33 and 38 points respectively. That's 71 points right there. That Mont Montpelier math came in handy. So um, that, that added up quickly, especially after a freshman year where uh, Lily and Ashley and um, who's left on that squad that's still playing, that's seniors. Um, Nobody other than Maddie Sonato. So and they only had 10 games because of the short and lovely COVID year. And parents, we could only go into maybe two games. We had to go on Life Barn and watch it. Um, so I appreciate now being in person and able to do this volunteering um, along with Megan Hennigan on camera for the fourth game this season, along with Dave Sonato, Tara Salvador, and Chris Thorne. And I've, I've had other people tonight volunteer as well. Um, hopefully, um, Timor Gray, who did a bunch of games last year, will be able to come back. So here we are. We're going to start the second period. Ashley Mercy along with Emma Ebert. Grace Tobias centering Lily McKenzie along with Olivia Raposa. So underway, Emma tries to fire that puck up, goes by. No icing. So underway here. Fresh sheet of ice. Olivia picks it up the board, but uh, Redding able to pick it up. Emma Ebert, um, Emma Ebert, yes. Pick, I love that when a defense pitches in because the, the, the forwards are very good at, at 
uh, covering for them. Just adds another dy a dynamic to your offense. If you can keep the puck in the zone. Nice, oh, right over here to Olivia. Nice four check into the corner. Ashley Mercier, nice job. That, that faceoff might be in. She was inside the zone. We'll see where they, uh, no, I don't know. She was inside the zone, but they're going to bring the puck outside the zone. So 14.08 remaining in regulation time. Stoneham Wilmington, three. Redding, our friends from Redding, two. Isabel Shirtcliff over to scoop that up. Nice, nice hustle. Redding picks it up along the boards. Nice back check in by Danny Shalimi. Up to Paige Fuller through the wickets. And that's going to go up and over everybody out of the net. Out of the net. Over the net, out of the rink. So again, the coaches for Stoneham Wilmington, head coaches Cassandra Connolly along with John Lapiana, and Joe Higgins and Haley Gorman have been here, well, at least three years now that Ashley's been on the co-op. Isabel Shirtcliffe picks up behind the net. So Redding, Redding kind of had the, the time of possession in the offensive zone, so we'll see if we can get this out. Nice play, Isabel Shirtcliffe. Paige Fuller, good back check-in by number somebody. Right there, Paige Fuller, puck's right there, bouncing around. Danny Chalimi goes down, but Redding takes it out. Gonna bounce it in on Maddie Sonato, able to steer it pad. Puck goes down, looking for a line change. Isabel Shirtcliffe. Trying to chip it over to Vivian Savoy. Vivian Savoy gonna battle in. Vivian shoots and it goes off a stick, off a Reading defender. That's gonna go all the way down, that's an ice. So 12.32 remaining in regulation. Who do we get out there centering? Vivian Savoy centering Lily McKenzie along with Olivia Raposa, Ashley Mercier on right defense, and Emma Ebert on left defense. Just, what is Emma? Just a, just a freshman, right? Yes. She was a member of the state winning Wilmington U10 team way back. Pete Malarkey and Carrie White, um, who else was involved in the coaches? We'll come back to that. But a great year that I picked up the next two years um, with the U-12, so out of a great squad. Ashley Mercy is going to pick this up. Ashley Mercy chips it up there. And Ashley, uh, Ashley to Lily to Vivian. Redding picks that up. Lily McKenzie gonna break it up. Lily McKenzie coming in, hard down left. Lily McKenzie, she shoots. Oh, just wide to the short side. The goalie just got a, just enough of it. Puck's gonna go all the way down, looks like an ice. So Lily McKenzie going for her fourth goal of the game. So 11.30 remaining in regulation. Stone and Wilmington up three to two over our friends from Redding. Oh, they all know you? <laughs> so face off to the right, our left of the Reading goalie. Again, no names. Oh, Isabel, she's got a real nice shot. Oh, it hits the back of Danny. Out with Paige Fuller, along with Marissa Thorne. Puck's gonna go up to Lucy Romanowski. Good job to chip it up to Danny. Marissa Thorne able to chip it up a little further. And that should be an icing. Looking for a connected pass there. 11 one remaining in regulation. Coach is going with a quicker line change. Definitely the second period you get caught in the zone, it's tough. So you got a, ch you got a chance to change here. Keep some fresh legs out there. Thank you. 
So Grace Tobias centering Lily. Lily was trying to cross ice pass over to Ashley, but Emma Ebert, nice play to make sure it gets in the zone. I love that play. Don't, don't Mickey Mouse around, just get it in deep. That's your goal. Emma does a nice job. Great job pinching on defense. Emma along with um, Isabel and Ashley do a great job at that from the point. It just, and Lucy Romanowski, they do a great job to keep the puck in the zone, possession time. Nice job there again. Ashley Merce here, uh, one on four. Not much choice right there, not much chance, choice, chance. Oh, nice stick handling. Lily McKenzie, got another shot. Oh, nice save by the Redding netminder. Kind of went right to the body, but still a nice save. She had to go from her right to her left, followed the shooter. So going to go with a five, five fresh. Patricia Hamp out there on right wing along with Paige Fuller being centered by Vivian Savoy, Shercliffe, and Romanowski on defense. Stoneham Wilmington up three to two over Redding. Uh oh, Redding picking up with some speed. Oh, nice play by Lucy Romanowski. Patricia Hemp, good back, good back check. Redding able to still pick it up in the zone, but oh, we're going to get another penalty, I guess. And we are for the fourth fourth time of the game. Another trip on Stoneham Wilmington. They, I don't even know. Third period, just over five minutes into the 9.39. Lucy Romanowski for a trip. So the fourth kill of the night. The first one kind of expired when they scored, but Oh, oh, Redding. So big kill here, three to two, under 10 minutes. Two minutes for tripping. See Paige Fuller, nice. To interrupt that, Vivian Savoy, nice play, getting that all the way down. Emma Ebert sends it all the way down. So we got Vivian along with Paige Fuller. Don't want to get caught in too deep. Oh, nice move. Oh, good defense by, or back checking. Good back check by Vivian Savoy. And she's going to take it out, nice play. Paige Fuller able to disrupt that enough where the defender had to take it all the way out. Vivian Savoy coming up this side. Oh. That's going to be a nice all the way down, no? I guess not. Uh oh, Grace lost sight of that. Right here, Grace, get it out, get it out. Oh. Puck comes over here, 20 seconds remaining. Oh, nice play, Emma Ebert. Oh, and nice play. It goes opposite corner. Smart play by Emma Ebert. Excellent play. So 10 seconds remaining in the regular regular regulation. Uh-oh. There, Grace Tobias going to... Uh-oh, had a chance to get it out there. Here we go, here we go. We gotta get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out. Get it out, just get it out. There we go, there we go. Come on, Lily McKenzie, gonna break in alone. Lily McKenzie, she shoots, scores! Lily McKenzie on her fourth goal of the game after another penalty kill. At 7.13 of the third period, Lily McKenzie.
great shot, roofed it after a successful penalty kill to make Stoneham Wilmington four, Reading Rockets two. What a shot, we can see that on replay later. So still a lot of hockey left, 7.13 remaining. Emma Flynn out with Isabel Shirtcliffe. Puck's dropped in. Emma Flynn picks that up. Unassisted. Opportunistic goal again by Lilly. And that's an offsides every day. 6.48 remaining in regulation. So Lily McKenzie keeps adding up her totals here. So Danny Chalemi centering. Marissa Thorne wanted to get it in deep, just rolled off her stick. But good, st oh, she stayed with it. Nice job by Marissa Thorne to stay with that. Out there with Paige Fuller and Danny Chalemi. Shirtcliff and Flynn on defense. 6.28 remaining in regulation. Puck comes over the near side. Nice hustle by M uh, Isabel Shirtcliff. Big battle there. Ready coming out of the corner. Matty Sonato able to smother that puck, close it down. Coach is going to go with a fresh five, and Redding is going to go with a fresh two. 6.04 remaining in regulation. Four goals by Lily McKenzie. Outstanding, but as she knows, it's a total team effort. Maddie Sonato's been a standout. Our penalty kill has basically killed four. They did score at the end of that one, but um, four, four penalty kills. And they're up four, four to two over our friends from Reading. Maddie Sonal steers that. Up to Lily McKenzie. Oh, almost outlet pass to Vivian just in front of her, a little too much. Vivian Savoy picks that up. Out there with Zoe Newborn. Newburn, sorry, Newburn. No icing. Lucy Romanos, he's going to pick it up, sends it. Interrupted here by Redding. Good four checking. That's going to make it out. And Lily McKenzie trying to wind it up. No icing. Uh-oh. Maddie Sonata, nice save. Ashton Mercy, was it about a two on one? Let's get on that puck. Zoe, got to get it out. Nice, that was out. Nice play, Zoe able to Work it to get it out over the blue line. So with 4.31 remaining, Stoneham Wilmington four and Reading Rockets two, almost hit zero, no, four to two. You're great. No icing. Ashley Mercer able to pick that up. That bounces up, no icing. So nice play, right, good speed. Who's that, Dan Danny or Olivia? Danny Chalemi, I believe, 26, I believe. I can't quite see it. Ashley Mercia sends it up right on net. Oh, we got a rebound, a juicy rebound there. Emma Flynn over here on the near side, good back check-in by Danny Chalemi here along with Marissa Thorne. So everybody on board. Ashley Mercy able to whip that around. Just did too much in front, but good play to get it out. 340 remaining in regulation.
Defense coming up. Nice play. Nice play. Nice stick check to keep it around. Uh-oh. Oh, up and over. That's Mercy trying to get up to Paige Fuller. Right to knee. Yeah, we need another. Oh, right on net. So we get a bonus. You get a line change and no whistle, no icing. Redding trying to break it out. Got caught up with the referee skate. We'll take that. Puck goes in deep. Redding able to pick it up. Sends it up here. That's going to scoot out, though. Nice play. 2.42 remaining in regulation. Lucy Romanowski able to chip it up and out. Redding picks it up. Oh, nice close down by Olivia Raposa. Oh, nice blocker save by Maddie Sonato. Here we go with Lily McKenzie again. Able to throw it in. Isabel Shercliffe there. Nice back check in by Grace Tobias. Coming up the middle, Redding Rockets. Oh, nice play. Isabel Shercliffe able to take it right off her stick there. Right at the last second. Under two minutes remaining in regulation. And I guess that was an icing. I didn't see the arm go up, but 145 remaining in regulation. Maddie Sonato anchoring again, solid in net. We got Vivian Savoy centering Marissa Thorne and Paige Fuller. Emma Ebert back with Ashley Mercier on defense. And we got a timeout. We got a timeout by Reading Rockets. So with 145, Reading Rockets going to try to devise an end of the game plan here, which I'm sure they've already practiced. Everybody practiced these situations. Um, Four, four to two, not sure they're going to pull the goal yet, but um, I would think yes. We, we shall see. doesn't look like the goalie's getting off, though, so what do I know? So Lily McKenzie, four goals on the night, three unassisted, but a lot of hard work by her, her line mates. Um, great penalty kill by the, you know, the um, successfully killed three. And the other one was right at the end, so kind of like four, but we'll, um, so good things to work on there. So their, their one minute timeout is up. It's gonna stay with the same lineup. He's got Vivian Savoy, who the more games I've watched is an excellent center. Don't wanna jinx anything, but I don't really believe in that stuff. What I say has nothing to do with the play out there. They are going to pull the goalie. So Reading Rockets come out with six attackers. So goalie's pulled with 145 remaining. Vivian Savoy on the... Oh. Vivian Savoy, nice job. Oh, nice play by the defense. To, that's going to... Oh, nice play again. And steered wide by Maddie Sonato in net. Just get it out. Just get it out. Redding picks it up here near the near side here. 110 remaining. Redding Rockets playing with six skaters. They pulled the goalie 145. Oh, nice. Right there, Vivian. Strong on your stick, strong on the stick. And we finally, we get it out. Ashley able to poke it up to, towards Emma. Oh, nice, nice cross ice pass. Emma Ebert's gonna pick this up. Let's see what she's gonna do. Oh, sends it right to the defense. Right there, Vivian, strong on the stick, again. A lot of just back and forth, back and forth. Oh, nice place, Emma Ebert with her skate. And that's gonna be an icing with 22 seconds. 
Let's see if Coach John. Coach John going to call up timeout or not? Let's. I don't think we want to. So with 21 seconds remaining, Grace Tobias on the faceoff. Lily, Lily McKenzie, Ashley, Emma, Flynn, and Olivia Raposa. 15 seconds remaining. Puck goes out. So nice play right off the bat. Again, nice play. Emma Flynn, Grace Tobias. Ashley Mercy is going to. No, that's not Ashley Mercy. What I'm talking about. Isabel Shaw. I saw the four quick. So they're going to stuff it behind the net. So great job by the penalty kill this tonight and Maddie and, and Lily McKenzie. So we'll just hang through. So again, Mike Mercy play by play. Megan Hennigan. We'll just go, we're gonna go through the line change and um, the line change, the handshake line. And then we'll be signing off here. We'll be back here in about 10 days. They have an away game next Thursday. Then we'll be back the 30th at six o'clock from a tough game against Bishop Fenwick. So great, great victory. Lily McKenzie with the four goals, but great, great penalty kill. Great, um, Maddie Sonato and Nett as strong as usual. So we're going to sign off here from Stoneham Arena. Final score, Stoneham and Wilmington 4. The Reading Rockets 2. Mike Mercier play-by-play, -play, Megan Hennigan on camera. We will see you back in about 10 days. Happy holidays.